So this is kind of a weird one. And again, I have to show the full video on Substack because I can't show combat footage on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube and want to see the uncensored footage, head on over to my Substack. It's freely available. A subscriber asked me to analyze this video because he had never seen this tactic before. Now this video shows Ukrainian YPR 765s and I believe one Ukrainian M113 doing this strange dance where some vehicles attack while other vehicles reverse gear. Then they pause and move forward again. Uh, these YPR 765s are probably donated by the Netherlands and the 113s, uh, they, they could have come from anywhere. Now, I've never seen anything like this, but here's what I think they're doing. First off, I don't think this is a training exercise because there's just too much debris on the ground. The range cadre's heads would just explode if you trashed a training area like that. So this is most likely combat. The cameraman is also very reluctant to move from his berm, which is an extremely sensible move. Incidentally, this vehicle here has markings that translate to the English word casino, so I, I think that's kind of fine. Here's what I think they're doing. I think that there is some infantry dug in by the tree line over here. And I think half of the armored personnel carriers, or APCs, are moving up right to the edge of the adversary's maximum anti-tank missile range and are firing their machine guns so their belts are dry. And then they are backing up outside of RPG range to reload. I don't believe the targets that are on this objective have ATGMs or anti-tank guided missiles because if they did, these APCs would be burning wrecks. The vehicles keep swapping places, two or three fire, two or three maneuver, and then back up again. You can do this all day, and all you're going to do is waste fuels. And you can't hit a darn thing with the unstabilized machine guns on the YPR-765 or the M113. So it's my guess that these guys are doing this because they're coming to a halt, and they can only shoot the gun stationary, or they can only shoot the gun accurately while stationary. So they're just staying still and providing suppressive fire and then moving back. Now, I believe that the cameraman is at what's called an ORP or objective rally point. The ORP is where you make your final preparations for an assault. So that could explain the debris and ammunition boxes. So I believe there's probably a group of infantry that are headed down to this tree line using cover and concealment. And when they get close, they're going to tell the APCs to halt while they take the objective once they take the objective, they'll tell the APCs, hey, pull up, we're on the objective, let's prepare for counterattack. So that's probably what's going on. Thank you for watching. Hey everyone, new Ryan Macbeth t-shirts and hoodies from Bunker Branding are available. I'm going to get the Highmars shirt. What are you going to get, Donald? The Patriot shirt, because I'm a Patriot. It's the best shirt, the biggest shirt. Make 14 tangos great again. What are you going to get, Barack? Let me be clear. I'm going to get a drone sweet drone shirt. What about you, George? I'm going to get a knife hand shirt because they're weapons of mass destruction. What about you, Billy? Oh, I'm going to get a landmine marker shirt because my presidency always blew up in my face. I'll tell you what I'm going to get. Ronald Reagan, but you're dead. I came back to tell you that no matter our politics, we're all Americans. And we should buy Ryan's hoodies and t-shirts because they pay for the stock footage and licenses that allow him to make awesome content. So come on down to Bunker Branding and buy a Ryan Beth t-shirt or I'll start the bombing in five minutes.